Hi Taurus, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your mid-month February tarot reading. This is a reading for all Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support. I send you so much love in return. And if you are new, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, come back in a couple of days and watch a new reading. Don't ever try to force it. Fridays are always a general reading, so those will bring in pretty much any aspect of life you could ask about. Mondays are a different style every week. Today's reading will be a detailed Celtic cross style reading. Next week, it'll be something entirely different. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. What advice do you have for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Taurus need to know, please? For the best and highest good of all concerned with Taurus. Messages for Taurus, please. All right, we will start here with the tarot. And then we'll have the angel answers. Current situation. Got the lovers. The immediate influence is that high priestess. Oh my God, look at that. So the high priestess and hierophants, this is important. The high priestess and hierophant are counterparts, right? And the lovers comes right after the hierophant. You're, we're already out of the gate here, getting some interesting things happening. All right, so I actually got that back in order. I feel good about that. Um, okay, I turned the cards the wrong side though. All right, so here we go. Um, we've got strength in the distant past, death in the more recent past. Now that's interesting too. You know, in terms of, again, we're starting to see a lot of major arcana. You have the Nine of Pentacles coming towards you. You're represented by the Chariot. The person or situation that you're attracting is the Four of Pentacles. You have the Page of Pentacles. I like this a lot. And your hopes and fears, Four of Wands and the outcome. This is awesome. We have here, we're going to get two, three more off the bottom of the deck like we always do. So we have here now, let me see if I can add all these up. Seven major arcana. That's significant. You have seven major arcana. We have um, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus here. We've got Gemini and Cancer here. But we also have uh, here, we've got Leo here, Aquarius here. So I said Leo, didn't I? Um, so I hope I didn't miss anybody. But I'm telling you, set your intentions, okay, with that two of wands. That's the card of the visionary. And with the energy of the wheel, you're going to move forward. I love it. You have with this energy, the wheel, it's a wheel of life. It's a portal into the divine. You've got a new cycle that turns in your favor. So some of you, if you've been single, I do feel like you're going to be flush in terms of money. You've got money coming in, but I do feel like you're going to meet somebody. Others of you, if you're planning a wedding, you've got great energy. But if you are with somebody, they might just be a part, a long-term partner Somebody that, I don't know why they, I wanted to say rocks with you. I don't know what the hell that means. I guess it's positive. Um, but with that Wheel of Fortune, you are going to be, it's going to feel like luck where you start to have opportunities show, show up. You're in the right place at the right time. You may be one of those things where you go into a store and they're suddenly doing a giveaway and you've got the right number. I keep seeing somebody with a ticket with like a number handwritten on it. So be aware of that if you get into an opportunity like that. Um, but with that two of wands energy, twos are about partnerships. So you definitely have a partnership that's growing and it's all about those future plans, setting your intentions. I do get with this though, in a relationship, tra travel plans, two people who are tra planning on traveling together and it may be for a few weeks. It feels like it's somewhat of a significant amount of time for you or maybe you just say, no, I haven't been on a vacation in 10 years and now we're going to go away. Um, now with that five of wands, that can be a change and it can yield to a little bit of chaotic energy. So I do feel like any of you that are planning, they're just trying to tell you, especially with the four of pentacles, be disciplined, be orderly about it, which shouldn't be too hard for you, Taurus. You're one of the most disciplined, orderly signs. I mean, if I want to get a job done right, I'd ask Taurus, right? You're going to check off the boxes. You're going to keep things going in a way that's smooth. And so with that four of pentacles, I do feel like that's actually beneficial. If you're doing any kind of a move or a plan of some kind of event, that four of pentacles will be your best friend. Now with this energy that you're attracting, this is sure lovely. I just couldn't believe it when we got in 
the um, energy of the Hierophant here too. Um, I just want to look at this for just a second. I feel like there's something I'm missing. I can't quite put my finger on it. And it might just be the chariot and strength connection because those do those are in order, but they're not close to each other. Well, anyway, I guess I get what I think I'm getting is this. Pardon me and thank you and forgive forgive me for that. I think this is what I kept feeling together. Okay, this is important because you have and you almost have it here too. I mean, we start to talk about like how the story unfolds. This is significant when you have that many cards that are together, but these are all about success and moving forward. So with this, okay, here we go. With these two, get these two back again. Um, this is very important in terms of using your subconscious to bring things in. Now, I do feel like you have a love interest. And if you have not, if you've been single for a while, I feel like the energy is already put forward. You may be somebody that you already know, and they're just trying to figure out the right way to approach you, especially if you've been busy with some kind of project. Now, I also feel like, too, if you're with somebody, they may have a bit of a need for solitude. There's something about that high priestess energy, and they're not pissed off at anybody. It's like it's something about, it even feels like if you're if they're in a work situation where they're just around a lot of people all day, or maybe it's you, too. You're around a lot of people and a lot of chaos. There's something about that high priestess energy. I feel like in a relationship, you need to communicate. Somebody needs to communicate that how that works and just so that your partner if it's you or if it's them understands it so that there's not hurt feelings but ultimately the high priestess is a new cycle it's beautiful her gown turns into water it's flowing energy and it is about being true to yourself but it's also too trusting your instincts very important here so with the energy of the lovers if you think somebody is interested in you i'm going to tell you they are it's it's very clear here. Um, and it's also, too, those of you that are wondering, is this person thinking of me? The answer is yes, of course they are. But with the lover's energy, it's definitely a match, and it's, an, it's a love relationship that grows. Those of you that are having some kind of a move or travel, you've got nice aspects for that as well. And so you may be kind of with that energy of the, the high priestess, watching things okay taking information in before you make a decision because she can be rather passive but with the lovers here too the lovers is also a choice so i do feel like any choices that you make whether it's about a vacation a job or a relationship you'll be making the right one well the hierophant comes in to say be still and no but it's a card of great protection and it's coming out of your subconscious so it's also saying that everything that you draw into your awareness with this it's of high value all right, high moral code, high in terms of intelligence, in terms of making good decisions. You're right on track. But this also, too, choices you make, this brings in unity. They wear the yokes of union. There's devotion coming in. So especially if you are single, I don't see that lasting for long. Um, so with the, the Hierophant, if you're making a job change, I feel like with that Nine of Pentacles, it may not be a full-on change, but I do feel like you're going to be rewarded. So if you have some opportunity to pick up consulting businesses or extra things here or there, I do feel like this too, for some, it can lead to more training, but it also might be you doing the trainings and you're getting paid for them. If that's you and you say, yeah, it's me that has the information to share. So with the strength card, again, thanks for forgiving me when I was trying to figure out how this, I knew it, there was something significant. I just couldn't quite pull it together immediately. With strength, you have a lot of influence, okay? And so for somebody, I feel like too, if there is a job change, you might get recruited. Or if it's like I said, an extra kind of consulting thing, I still feel like they're talking about you and recruiting you. You've got an influence here. Um, it's bringing in though with the energy of strength. It's grace, yes, but it's also in terms of a partnership, having real understanding of one another. So if you're in something right now and that, that communication piece that we talked about a minute ago is important to you. It's here too, saying that this is important to communicate, to be open, and to be understanding of each other's needs. There's, and if that's if you say, no, it hasn't happened yet, that's what you're bringing in. The next relationship will be a lot better then because you're going to be very open and understanding of that. So the death card is a rebirth. I love death in the tarot. It is a card that says you step over the wreckage of the past. So if there have been challenges in the past, not here, you've got a new beginning coming in. Your ships are coming in, Taurus. Now, for some, there is travel, but there also, too, 
if it's been you've been waiting on making a big purchase because you have it several times here I do feel like the wait it's been it'll be worth the wait you'll end up not settling you know, look back and say, I'm glad I didn't settle for that because that wouldn't have been really what I wanted. With death here too, though, with this white horse and this skeleton, it's telling you for some to let go of something from the past. So there may be something too, if you had, a you know, some kind of a challenging energy and it felt like you didn't get what you wanted, you didn't need it, okay? If we don't get something we don't, it's because we don't need it and there's going to be something better. This always brings you in to something better. So there's a new life coming in here, a change for the better. Well, with this Nine of Pentacles, I love the Nine of Pentacles. Yes, she is a single lady, but I do feel like you're going to have nice social aspects. Those of you that are in a relationship, even though she is a single lady with that Four of Wands, uh, I feel like the, the two of you together, you have, you're moving towards quite a commitment here. And even with this too, you may find that you still have balance. You still have a social life. You still can be balanced with your friendships. There's not jealousy here, all right? And so with this, I feel like you're going to enjoy that because you're not going to like to be controlled. There's a freedom here. There's something free about this. Now, others of you too, though, it's definitely quality over quantity in terms of purchases. And you have it with the Four of Pentacles too. There's something about money here in terms of making smart decisions. Because with the Nine of Pentacles, she doesn't fritter away money on junk. And of course, the Four doesn't either. She really buys investments, okay? Things that are going to make sense financially. And so with this Nine, it also is that acknowledgement and attainment. So like we were talking about earlier, those of you that are getting extra opportunities to work and share information or teach or anything like that, you've got it here. And I do feel like you're going to like the the praise, the acknowledgement of what you what you have to offer. So the chariot is wonderful. This is a card of success, law of attraction, energy. And this too, much like the wheel, okay? There's not too many cards that have these sphinxes on them, but the, the sphinxes in, in the chariot represent the law of attraction. He uses his mind to compel them. But in the wheel, it's about letting, knowing when to let go and when to hang on because that sphinx never moves. So as far as the wheel spins, it doesn't disturb you is what they're trying to tell you. So as changes happen around you, I feel like you'll be very good at responding to them because this is strength, it's success, it's triumph, it's victory. And so with the chariot energy, you'll move forward no matter what. For some on the mundane level, it is a new car. And it is the waiting, or if it's a house or something too. And it's also too making travel plans. For some of you, you're going to say, I'm glad I didn't try to rush this. Especially as places were closed, countries were closed. You'll say, I'm glad I didn't try to force that to happen then. I would have been shortchanged. I'm so glad we waited, that sort of thing. So with this Four of Pentacles, this is not a negative card, but it is about discipline and order. So some of you too, it even could be with the physical body. I get it more with money though, being disciplined about money and being more thoughtful and conscious of money. So making good decisions so that you're not looking back and saying, oh my God, I had all this money coming in and I just blew it. Not with this, you won't. And so in a relationship too, somebody that you meet or if it's a partner that you have right now, I also feel like it's not even about being closed off as much as it's about saying, I want this to be stable. I want this, I want to make good decisions in this relationship so that we don't needlessly hurt each other. We don't have to be guarded here. With the Page of Pentacles, he bring, he's a messenger. He brings in a new opportunity for you. So I got it in a lot of different ways here in a relationship or in a job too. Like I said, I feel like you're going to be held in high esteem, high regard. And the Four of Wands, well, who doesn't love this? The 1111 card. Another four, but this one brings an expansion and celebration and it's joy. So anything that you make, any plans that you make, they're telling you, take that leap of faith. You've got it with the chariot too. Take that leap of faith and everything works out. So let's see here, Taurus, what the angels have to say for you. Messages for Taurus, please. What else does Taurus need to know? Advice for Taurus. Ask your angels, all right? Ask and they want to tell you. They want to give you guidance. No need to worry. You've got improving health, but again, that can be mind, body, spirit. 
take action, they say. So especially with that fiery wand energy and all these major arcana, they give you a yes. All right, good things are on the way for you, Taurus. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.